Ooh, welcome to a ZK large team game on one of the, I believe, new maps with a couple of little lakes. Other than that, it's a quite flat map. With, well, just 1.8 metal, metal extractors everywhere. No hidden, like, metal maxes which are more worth more. Nothing like that. So it's just a matter of who gets most maxes, who gets most map control. Please, already moving forward, so our daggers, ducks and all that. Alright. Over here we've got, well, cloak bots, amph bots, hovers, cloaks, spiders, airplanes, cloaks, hovers, amph bots, rovers, spiders, and that's it for now. On the other side we've got cloak bots, tanks, airplanes, amph bots, hovers, Rovers, gunships, amphibots, clickbots, gunships, gunships, and tanks. Alright. And as I said, yeah, it's a flat map, so vehicles like hovers, rovers, tanks, they do of course make a lot of sense. And due to the size, you know what? I wouldn't even hate gunships for gunships. So, a couple of harpies already moving forwards, might be able to do some damage, since, well, I believe they do outrange commanders just barely. Indeed, it seemed like it. And they're also just able to kill the weavers, kill the maxes, all that. And they don't like it. Hmm. I mean, I don't hate it. Anyways, over here. Ducks moving into the bowlers, alright. In the back of the base, just scouting with the little swifts. So, knows that there is not really a rush going on. No paladin rush, no nuke rush, nothing like that. Over here, imp, sure thing. Um, it doesn't really matter all that much right now. I don't think so, at least. And, hey, there we've got a scallop, the super amazing mega riot. It's so strong, look at it. It killed one duck? <laughs> the thing it should supposedly counter oh why are they so disappointing <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't know anyways before this game really gets going let me just ask you to subscribe to the channel just click the button and then well if enough people do that I don't even have to ask you anymore because well, I don't know why but people don't click it even if they come back. Anyways, up north, well, Reaver, Ronin moving in already. But Swift's to counter the Harpy and the little Locust. Though, well, Harpy has a good amount of HP. 1200 to be precise. So is actually able to hold on to those Swifts. Well, defend against those Swifts like pretty okay. Monero and Cabin Boys commanders both in front, so they should be able to handle these couple of like cloak bots without too many issues especially if they do combine their forces phantoms phantoms with a total of three on the field where like one is being built and the other one is also being built so there is a singular phantom right now and this could be a little interesting. A lobster will try to throw the ducks into the, like, Nighthawk commander. Would make a lot of sense. Gets the eco killed, most likely. Might get a commander kill. And if that thing goes down, they also, like, waste another 700 metal. Just because they haven't placed a factory yet. Lance is out for both teams. Alrighty. And what do you say? Air? I don't... I can't read that. Anyways, a little bit of a bolus moving forwards. And we'll have to retreat because it is not able to 1v1 a Reaver. Down south, Minotaur with a little bit of support might be able to like, do some damage to get to work. The commander over here in red. But uh, Minotaur going back and all that. Alrighty. Also like Nighthawk apparently has like double commander. Yes, they do. Because this is also a Nighthawk commander. Alright. And we've also got like, well, a couple of like, 
singularity event players who I don't think I've seen before, like Locke, I'm not sure if I've seen, uh, like Cosin 3, don't think I've cast a game with them before, and even Nighthawk, like you don't see them often, but I do think we've seen them before. Up north, a little bit of a kill commander, a commander pushed by Monero. Monero. But push has been stopped right there. Like the push onto the commander has been stopped. The duck push is still definitely going on. And well, with another five ducks, they are heavily damaged. They are able to take down a little bit of economy still. And these supposedly like blast wings, I assume, were not in fact able to kill them. Even though a blast wing like does some really good damage if you just stand in the fire. And Swift's coming in to rescue the commander a little bit, kind of. I mean, killing the Ravens, which is definitely a good target for those Swifts. And those rockets do have a significant amount of alpha damage. So over here, moderators with knights moving in, alright. Slowing down and stunning the enemy, it's a very good combination, but commander here, well, well, commander here, yeah, no, uh, commander, you might actually be in a lot of danger over here. And you do indeed, like, jump out of there. Since, uh, yeah, well, knights are able to stun you, moderators just deal a good amount of alpha damage as well, enemy commanders here, you really have to watch out here. What commander was that? Or was that like an Mth bomb? Like an uh, a limpet? Yeah, it was limp. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, wait a second, who had the like manual weapon? But no one. Well, the, the limpet had the manual weapon. And over here, Lockhead will go down. Push has been stopped. Grizzly now moving in. Maybe a little bit of a shield, like Felon support as well, but that's already going down south again. And they'll have to rebuild. I mean, like, Commander went down, Eco went down. And Cabin Boy and Monero. Yeah, it's difficult to hold those off. Those are, uh, should have, like, some pretty e decent micro themselves. So you really need, like, just a couple of riots here. Because how else are you going to deal with all of those ducks and glaives? Not really sure yet. Over here, well... Team East is doing quite a lot better compared to up north. But they're not doing as well as Team West is doing there. Eco, quite a lot better for Team West as well. And if they do get all of the reclaim over here, that would be significant as well. 2.1k. This probably is for Team East still, but still eight, uh, like 1,000. Revenant tries its best, but will have to retreat. Next Revenant will be up very soon. And you know what? The Revenant is not exactly bad against a clump of units. But it's also, like, not amazing. And that's really why it's not amazing. Because there is a significant amount of, like, anti-air in those Swifts. But a lot of those went down as well. Throwing Reclaim everywhere. Shield ball. Not a very big shield ball, but still. That is a 5400 shield and Felon dealing a lot. Don't reclaim this, you wanna resurrect? I mean, I don't hate it. Ah, there it is, Athena. Indeed, wanting to resurrect makes a lot of sense, of course, because, uh, well, that's where you do also get the eco back. And, well, yeah, what do you have? You've got Reaver and Red back. That should be enough to like deal with those glaives if they manage to shoot at them, which they do manage. So Grizzly will survive, but now Duck's moving down south. What's over here? There is a Max, which they would like to kill, and Rippers to kill the Ducks. They shouldn't be able to handle with, like, three Rippers. So it's a good idea to, like, have those Ducks go back indeed. Right. Razor shooting at the shield, slowly but surely going down because it's defending the harpies. And where is anti-air? Yeah, that is a bit of a problem, but like... 
Uh, well, here is a little bit of anti-air, but the enemy has way more of that type of anti-air. Right. Also, like, uh, how are you doing with that resurrection? Like, 40%? Yeah, 42%. Cabin boy, commander is going down because boom, like 3,000 damage on these total. Yeah, two of them. Two of them make for 3,000. Still a si insignificant, well, not insignificant, but like, still not as good as a lance would be in just pure damage. But of course, you do have the extra HP, which is very nice. And with this many units, they're definitely able to push in here. Might be able to kill the Jin, which is not exactly cheap either. Down here, leave one Minotaur in front of Tremor in case of Lance. Now they're smart. Yes, we're really playing with tactics over here. Do... Yeah, no, that is indeed a good idea. Seems like the felons, uh, Phantoms are going to try and kill it, do. Or bury. Or make a wall around it. Would also work. More than enough options. But they're not really doing any of them. We need to push in. It's the only player defending. Uh, it's only one player defending. Right. Over here, lobster trying their best. But like, yeah, scallops. Once in close, they do a pretty good amount of damage with that shotgun. But oh well. Didn't exactly do anything. There was just too much over there. Melon already been constructed, okay. And is there anything else like going to happen? Well, I see a Shogun on Team East's side. And what's the... Uh, okay, no, it is actually done. Okay. That means that... Wait, can you pick that up? Uh, transportable heavy. I don't think I've seen that before. Like, ever. I don't think so. Anyways, that would be great to see. Normally, yeah, okay, apparently it is possible. There it goes. We. They picked up the show. <laughs> Come on! How can we be serious? I thought it was already looking dumb when, like, a siren was picked up. Uh, though that is, of course, because that's on the small transport as well. So indeed, that is a little bit stupid too. But still, I didn't know this was possible. You normally see them always, like, get thrown with lobsters. But I guess just because we're, like, you are, like, the Shogun is, like, this far away, it's just worth it to buy a Hercules for it. Rather than having to micro it all the way there. Also, like, why is it as his energy grid, like, this bad? 48. How do you guys manage to get 48 energy on a grid where you need like 50 for your strider hop and your uh, Cerberus? Like that's impressive to get that close yet not enough energy. Right, Shogun sadly isn't able to shoot when hanging under the Cerberus it seems. Uh, nope. I mean I didn't expect it but uh, okay. Also, actually going to drop it off in the pond. You know what? I like it. There are a couple of lakes, so... Wait, you do have a little bit of mobility. And there it is. Alright. What will it be able to shoot at? Well, definitely at the multiple grizzlies from the enemy. Would be able to shoot at the commander. Puppies too, but hey, that's not exactly the most worth it. And Nighthawk added points here. Sure, a couple of missiles will take this out. Killing this with Merlin once I get Merlin. Yes, that's the same as killing with Starlight once I get Starlight, but I'm not even building one. Um, well, we do expect Merlin to be there soon-ish, but it's still going to take a while. Ego for Team West in the meantime is just better. Partially because of like overdrive and reclaim. But uh, yeah, well, they are also reclaiming part of this, so. You've gotta get in close. And these shields really are just doing a good job. I mean. Come on, wrong one, this one. And then I just want these. 12 of them. We just were able to see. Right. 12. 
He goes over there and hey, that's a beautiful Z Zeno. Going right about. Why there? Like there weren't even any units there to begin with. Another one. They're beautiful fireworks, don't get me wrong, but slowing these three things with multiple Xenos. Xenos are 500 apiece. Um, you sure about that? So, singularities are going up for Team o West. One of them, two of them are already up at least. And on the other side, do we see them? I do not see them. Oh wait, there is one, which is being constructed. And the last one, because there are four on the field apparently. Yet I don't know where. The fourth one is. Oh, all the way over there. Is also being constructed. So Team East is a bit slower with that. And all right. Shogun has been put into the second pond. Envoy? Question mark? No, that's a Shogun. Play more, talk less. Good idea. Anyways, a lot of lands over here. Those are squishy. As in, they've got only a thousand HP. Shogun, in like each bullet, is worth 500 damage. With some pretty decent AoE, I'm pretty sure. Right? They first need to hit, but uh, well, this land is heavily damaged. And it outranges lands by a lot as well. There go, nine more bullets, and that's one dead lance for sure. Is that Cerberus, or is that another Shogun somewhere? It's probably... Artemis, or just Slings, because that makes a lot of sense as well. Anyways, yeah, putting another point on it doesn't really do a lot. Stunning the Hercules is definitely a good idea. However, like, yeah. You can't really touch it. It's just barely in range, but you do 3000 damage, which is a lot. But you still need three of them to kill a Shogun. This could actually be a little bit worse, maybe. Ooh, almost getting hit by your own Grizzly there. And Hercules just barely survives. Alright. Now, down south, well, there comes everything. Merlin's on uh, both sides of the field, and like five of them, four or five, have been constructed by now. Which is a uh, good number of Merlin's, that's for sure. Neat, hello again. I assume you mean help. And that would be understandable. And also why you probably weren't able to type very well. I mean, enemy has like more than, well, at least four lands, double grizzly and a Dante. Ooh, you've gotta watch out there. Like your grizzly will be one shot. Assuming that multiple lands like hit at the same time. So how do you deal with that? I mean, Dante is like Riot. Riot Assault, so uh, he's able to clean up all of those small units, which would normally counter either the Grizzly or the Lance. A lot of Greek Lamb over here, though of course not the most useful metric right there. Like 300, 600, 1000. In front like 4000, over here another 1100. So that's a lot. And alright, Shield Ball moving in, that could actually save you. Because these shields are very strong. 30,000 worth in shield at the very least. Nimbus as well, as long as they stay inside of the shield, are able to well, kill the phantoms for sure, and like, handle those glaives as well. And significant amount of the shields are already gone. However, ladder recluse as well. Moving in now, getting some kills on those uh, little uh, stupid puppies. 
and the puppies, well, they moved into the shield, but like, oh, they were actually doing quite a bit of damage. All of the shields by now have been drained, or like most of the shields at least. So Shield Ball has to go back, and most things are still alive for Team West. There comes the Shogun. Where comes the Shogun? Did she really just transport it from one side of the pond to the other? Sure. There goes the Shogun. But now, where are you going to land the Shogun? Is the question. Swift's moving in. And, ooh... We're maybe able to take down something, but I don't think so. Anyways, over here, Infernos are doing a job. Not sure if it's a good job. Might be able to clean up the Cerberus, though. In, and in that case, they definitely are doing a good job. Up north, Grizzly Force moving forwards. And, well, the Shogun really just does not know where it wants to go. Right, this is where it wants to go. However, like, is this the most important place for it? Wouldn't this just be better? Being able to help out against these multiple Grizzlies. Possibly, like, scaring off the Dante and the Lance as well. But now with another significant shield ball, they do already go back. So it's also, like, not the most important. How are y'all getting destroyed so bad? Um, because there are a lot of units over here. Value, 20k, uh, yeah. 20k value is a lot. And I didn't even select all of it. Like 25,000. Then you're like, going to get to like, super weapon territory in terms of value. Of course with these forces now as well, like, yeah, 40,000 value too, so... Not as if one team has that much more than the other. And this time around, they're not actually getting destroyed so bad, because now they're actually pushing forwards. Multiple lands with bullets left over, like, are still able to fire. And Merlin, even though it's artillery, does a lot of damage, but it's not able to drain the shields completely. Dante in front. Dante is a prime target for those lands, but it does barely survive. For now. However... Ardenim is able to just get a couple of stray shots off. Does not look like it. And Dante is seemingly going to just survive. You know what? I feel like that could have gone down had your Nimbus just been like, okay, we want it and we shoot it. Oh well, didn't happen. Paladin over here, well. Stuns on both sides. Stunned from the knights, stunned from the paladins. And I'm not sure why, but today the game is seemingly running quite, quite slow. In terms of, like, just FPS. I don't know why. Anyways, Shogun, the second, is up. This time with lobster support. The more standard support in my eyes. And Merlin, once again, shooting a lot. Doing some damage. And slowly but surely, the Shogun is going forwards. Good amount of range on the Cerberus, well, uh, on the Shogun. And over here, we get them. You know what? Shogun has better range than the, like, artillery, the heavy saturation artillery. Strider, yes. Uh, yeah, Merlin is actually, like, shorter range, which kind of surprises me. Especially, but like, no. Not because of cost. Okay, sure. That explains a lot. Being like 1500 worth. Uh, like 1500 metal more. Ravagers! Moving in. And you know what? Paladin isn't amazing against Ravagers. Fleas, though. Fleas are pretty good. And Liko, Liko moving in, and boom, boom. 
but it's still not dead. It just isn't. Paladin will try to go back and should be able to do, to do just that. Most of these units have been stunned. And Paladin is actually confident that it was kind of moving forwards again. Kind of not. Yeah, now it's going back for sure. Right. Another Shogun moving, well, being built. Already like 50% done. And, well, multiple Paladins. A lot of Paladins. Seven on the field. Some of which are still being built, of course. At least three of them. Yes. Four of them. Four of them are being built, it seems. And get Badger's top. Because the enemy is using Badger's. Is that why? It might be why. Come on. Yeah, there. Twelve Merlins. A lot of them being built as well. And Eco. Actually now better for Team East. Just a little bit, maybe. Pretty even though. Do I say that. A lot of reclaim coming in right now. Leading to, like, way better Eco for Team East. And right there, well, a couple of stunned felons. Not a lot of HP on those things, like, just 3,800. Uh, sorry, that's value. 10,000 HP on them. That's probably... Nope. Uh... Anyways, they were exposed, but now have a little bit of a shield. Their Merlins will still clean them up, though. Except for one. But no, not except for one, because it also goes down. Right. Now. One, two Lycos, both going down. That's a lot of value. Like 4,000? Yes, 4,000. And didn't exactly do a lot to the Paladin. Anyways. Chocolate moving in. Shockly, shocking, very nicely. Shields are gone, mostly. And are you now able to take advantage of that and, like, kill all of those Merlins? Well, the Shogun is trying its best. And you've got another circle. Are you nuking it? Ah, you're blaming it. Infernoing it. Does make a lot of sense as well. Though, some shields were still up, or, like, up again. So it doesn't do, like, as well as you might have hoped. But this Merlin's helping out very nicely. Alright. And so, well, Knights once again moving in. Against a lot of dirtbags. Uh, and Paladin. I don't know how much, like, two or three Knights are going to do anymore. Which is like a couple of dirtbags are also not going to be able to kill a paladin. But still, terrain is being like chewed up quite well by the dirtbags. Oh well. It does also make it harder for like a ravager push for Team West though. If they want to go for that again. Right, next up, well, uh, is there anything special coming up? I don't really see it. I don't see any trinities, don't see any, like, super weapons. However, we do see a little bit of a scorpion over there, which is trapped and should be killed. We'll try to stun, and stun quite a bit, but puppy's moving in and killing it. And they have Snitch. Good for them. They also have throwing Shoguns, or like flying Shoguns. Are you trying to put it on the spike? Mm, no, you're not. Are you? It doesn't seem like you are. Also, don't run into your Merlin fire, please. You're not able to shoot, right? No. Person who is using the Hercules, lock. You're a singularity. Please use it. Continue. I want to see it fire. Put it on the spike. Yes. Come on, do it. 
be like the screenshot from like in game. Uh, game, why are you lagging? Anyways, a lot of Merlins once again, and doing some good damage to those assaults. Liko moving in and Liko fighting, and just barely does not get a Jin kill. Jin moving into the water will be healing up at 30 a second and will also just go back to their own beacon. Sure. Teleport from like here to there. Anyways, down here, well, a lot of explosions and a lot of particle effects. Which are seemingly like slowing everything down. But it's not exactly a position people are able to push on like either side. Paladin has gone down over here though. Or it has retreated, but it seems to have gone down with the explosions. Uh, or it's just this one. Maybe. I don't know, maybe this is the new one, maybe it's an old one. But with just dirtbacks, they would not be able to like hold on over here. Dirtbacks are just able to pass that terrain without issues and would be able to kill dirtbacks quite, quite easily. Multiple paladins up north over here, two of them for Team West, but also one for Team East, who has a lot more support. So should be able to hold on. You... Alright, so you do get a like significant amount of... Uh, well, height bonus, like range bonus, due to your height. But still, you're not really able to hit all that much right now. And okay, it is indeed being transported into the pond, because then it would be a bit, like, hot. What's hot about it? I don't know. Do you just mean, like, the number of merlins, number of paladins, all that kind of thing? Don't really know what you mean by hot in this case. And luck moving the shogun back. Sure. I get that it, like, placing it here would be dangerous. But it would at least be able to hit the enemy, where it's now, it just can't do anything. And, ooh, interesting. Trinity going up in the back of the base there. Do... They do already have, like, some pretty decent anti-nuke range. One of them is still being constructed, but other than that, they have their entire base covered. Same with you, even better coverage, even. And now, well, yeah, Merlin's doing a very good job. I mean, there are a bunch of them as well. So it makes sense that they're doing a lot of damage. And Trinity coming up on Team West side as well right now. Right. Just two of them. The one for Team East is a lot further in its construction. And also like, yeah, because of that anti range that we were talking about. Um. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't work. Anyways. Team East is like pretty well defended against nukes and well team east a uh, team west a little less but still good enough and that should only become better over here well inferno making it hard for the merlins to retreat are you now able to push forwards and over here stuns 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 a lot of shockleys are you able to take advantage of that well commander no paladin is moving forwards which is very nice and Zenith. People are talking about Zeniths, which I don't hate. Because, I mean, like, yeah, super weapons are, of course, very, very strong. And... I don't know why this match is lagging this much. Anyways, a lot of Merlins. 70k, almost, worth of Merlins. Making it, well, very hard for both 
players to attack. And this got a body. Are oh, you like, well, it should have been there. Um, Zenith is able to re reach all. This got a body is able to reach all. Don't know why you have it like there, relatively far forwards. And Zenith already like 50% up. More than that even. So like almost, or like more than 20k, whereas this good rave party only like 2k. So it does make sense to focus on the Zenith first. They preparing raiders. Where are they preparing raiders? Do you mean there? It's the only place I see a significant number of raiders. Though, are raiders really going to be able to do a lot over here? You've got your Strider Riot. Your Dante, you've got multiple uh, multiple Nimbus. And so many thugs that even if they miss all of their shots individually, they are still going to hit a good number of raiders. Damn it game, why are you lagging this much? I don't get it. I don't get it. No, I don't. Anyways, well, my actually just be those Merlins. So many of them that, uh... 19 Merlins. Yeah, that's a lot of rockets. Normally it's not this bad. Anyways, a lot of Paladins, both sides. Merlins, both sides. And, well, where have the, like, Shoguns gone? You've got three of them on the field. Where are they? Two of them are over here, one of them is there. Alright. So I don't think you've lost any. Merlins, they're like superior artillery. Is that true? Maybe not. And yes, there are two paladins over there, but it's not as if you can nuke that right now. So dealing with that is going to be difficult, although they've also got like double paladin up north, so it's not as if that's going to be all that much easier. And I really like that idea from like Team East to have like multiple shoguns. Just, just ferry them around. I don't hate that. I really don't. But uh, yeah, well Team West just has to hold on in order to wait. Or like, you know, they have to hold on until their Zenith and or Disco Rave Party are finished. 10k more. So it will still take a good amount of time. But it will also not take that long. Little bit of a shockly. Is able to stun one paladin. Seemingly. Yes, I think so. But other than that, I mean, yeah, no, it didn't really do a lot. And you're not able to push in there. So how much did it really do? And they bubbling, I figure, were past war crimes. What? It's basically griefing. Reclaim this with cons. Are you talking about that Disco Rave party? Stop, we have another. It's basically griefing. No, it's not griefing. It's just someone who doesn't really understand. And Bumpkin, look, that's not exactly the most experienced player. And ooh, there comes the nuke. However, did we look at that uh, nuke defense uh, a while ago? Yes, we did. And that's good enough. That's actually just barely in range of both anti-nukes. And there goes one. Boom, it hits just barely on screen. Not barely hit, but it was barely on screen where it hit. So, yeah, no, your nuke wasn't exactly the most effective. They got an anti-nuke. They got an AA. Did you blind nuke? No. No, I didn't blind nuke. No, I just shot it into the anti-nuke on purpose. Uh, come on. Do they really, like, not know about it? Uh, this side, of course. Come on, select. Select team. There. 
You don't know about the Southern Antonyx, you don't know about any of them. Oh. Come on, guys. Also, like, why do you not have, like, good radar? Anyways, let's turn everything back on. Actually, it does that, like... Eh, it doesn't really change a lot about the frame rate, sadly. Uh, anyways, Zenith is now almost up. And this got a party. 12k invested, so. Oh, well. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like we needed it, huh? No. Okay, sorry, Bumpkin, but I do agree that, like. Zenith would have been more important. Like, prioritizing it, because otherwise. You wouldn't have been able to afford 42k for a Discord Ace party. Sorry, otherwise that, uh, that Zenith would have been up a long time ago. Zenith is almost up though. And with the Zenith they should be able to hold this off quite easy. Quite easily, yes. We have like four, but... Do people not actually like look at the number of Antonyx? Also, Reef is almost up. There it is, Reefy. Do I don't know why they want one. I don't know. And there is the Zenith. Alright. And there goes the DRP. So that's why I said like well it should have probably been in the back. Other than that, I didn't hate the fact that it was going up. Though, prioritizing Zenith first and then going for DRP would have probably been better. Anyways, down here we seem to have a lot of stuns going on. Though, that is not that many stuns. I mean, there's one stun over there. Good stun, though, because it does in fact take down a... I believe that was Funnel Web, was it? Funnel Web, indeed. 1600 reclaim, and... My reclaim widget has been turned off because it's that on like... Nope, it's not on that one. I don't remember where it is. Is it on 8? Control Alt 7? Nope. I've got to find it again after the game. Never mind. Anyways, Zenith is up and what is Zenith able to do? It should really be able to like do significant amount of damage. But where to? You've got most of your... Meteor's already on your head, so don't be too late. Oh, actually, no, it's 63 out of 300. Why do I feel like this is more than that? Or rather than when I have this many, it almost comes crashing down already? I don't know. Anyways, this could be a good target, because, yeah, multiple... Paladins, Nimbus, all that. However, the same thing is true on the other side. Nuke, once again. Where is the nuke going? Don't know. Also, like, how the hell did that ultimatum get into the base? And doing this much damage? It's still alive, 60 HP, sure thing. But it still is, and it dies. But does take another, like, funnel web with, like, a significant amount of HP with it. And, once again, a nuke getting shot down. Oh, no. Did it get disconnected? What? Oh, got stunned. That makes a lot more sense, actually. So, Zenith, throwing down all of those minions on its own base. Up north, they're really losing the position. Nimbus are thrown back, but should probably enter the battlefield very soon. And, well, yeah, still double paladin over there. Eco is pretty even still, but is in favor of Team East, I'd say. Especially if they, like, start reclaiming this more. And GG. A bit of a disappointing end, but that was it. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.